come south now over the border, south and east to Cambridge and the Flatlands. The produce of Essex and the Fen counties must travel outwards to the rest of Britain, and in exchange the coal, steel and manufactures of the North and Midlands must be hauled to London and East Anglia. Hour by hour the laden wagons, mixed and jumbled, come into Whitemoor Yard for sorting and onward routing, and the quicker they are sorted, the more use can be made of them. But the marshalling of wagons is very much an expert's job. A train comes in with, say, 80 wagons, all for different destinations. Our job is to shunt all the wagons for the same destination onto the same road, up to a limit of 40,000 a week or so, and we've got some up-to-the-minute equipment to do it with. But the first job is to record the destination of every wagon and pass it to the controller. He can then preset the automatic points to divert the wagons into the correct roads. As soon as the wagons for the different roads are uncoupled, a locomotive must be provided. East Rail Whitemore calling Shunt Abel. Right round the hump and onto the back of number three. Over. Shunt Abel calling East Rail Whitemore. Your message received. Over. Radio control saves hours a day of expensive engine time. From then on, the most difficult thing about gravity shunting is getting the speeds right. The diesel propels the wagons up the hump at a mile an hour or so. Once they reach the summit, gravity takes over. The wagons roll off at, say, 15 miles an hour. And according to the distance they have to travel, they can be slowed up by the retarder. Operating the retarder demands experience and concentration. The weight and speed of every wagon is different, and it must be slowed up just enough to bring it to a halt in its proper road. There's no let up once a train's on the move. A wagon every few seconds, and the automatic points sorting them out one by one. Delicate loads get special attention. It's important they shouldn't run in too fast. But speed can be critical here in lots of ways. East Rail Whitemore calling Shunt Baker. You have a cut of seven levies coming up, Jack. You'll have to speed up a bit to get them down. Over. Shunt Baker calling East Rail Whitemore. My speed is now one mile point five per hour. Over. East Rail Whitemore calling Shunt Baker. Speed up to two miles an hour. Off. And the extra half mile an hour gets the seven wagons over with a good way on them and no delay. Moving wagons has one advantage, at least they can't answer you back. 